welcome back everyone and thank you very much for joining me today we are continuing the blood and wine dlc that we started um we have just begun and just started getting into this it is very knightly and formal and i think that we need to go switch up Geralt's look a little bit so i think we need to switch up his look and then we need to go Maybe check out some of the side quests. Basically how I've been liking to do things and what seems to work well is kind of going by like what's lowest level. So basically anything from this DLC, I'm gonna go take a look and we're gonna go kind of by lower level and things that sound interesting and uh, kind of continue on with the main story as it makes sense. So here we go. Okay, where are we at? What are we doing? What did I want to do? So, turn and face the strange. That just reminds me of Shrek. Is that like Shrek 2 or 3 or something? I think that's Shrek 2. I don't know. That's that's just, that's what that immediately comes to mind is that song. I don't even know. Is it just Face the Strange or Change or something? It might even be a different I don't know. But that just reminds me of Shrek. Okay. Anyways. Now that that's out of the way. Um... <laughs> what do we have here? So our level 39 quest. So obviously we have some that we'd like to do first. The beasts and Geralt's clash had been violent, albeit brief. Now with it done, Geralt could have a chat with his long-lost friend, Regis. So apparently Regis is from the books, I believe. A higher vampire, Regis revealed that the creature terrorizing Beauclair was none other than his dear friend, Detlaf. He called him, like, blood... I don't know. They had, like, some, like, whole bond that, like, sounded intense. So I was like, okay. Um, the Witcher and the Vampire heard a clamor. A posse was drawing near. The Vampire disappeared, not before inviting the Witcher to pay him a visit at a temporary quarters he'd established. Oh! Wait, wait, the other thing. Hang on. We got a house! We haven't even seen our house! We also need to go to the barber. Okay, so, where, where are we going? So, yeah, so we received a, a letter from Yennefer at the very end of our stream yesterday. Um, turn and face the strange. Search for Moreau's grave at Orlemur's Cemetery using your Witcher senses. It was a warm summer evening, or perhaps a cool yet sunny morning. The weather and time are of no import. What matters is that day Geralt received a letter from Yennefer, who informed him about a most unusually discovery she had recently made. She'd found mention of research conducted by a Professor Moreau on Witcher muta mutations. It seemed this professor's, professor's workshop could be found in Toussaint. Geralt, realizing the importance of this discovery, decided to find this laboratory. First step would be to find the professor's journal, which, according to Yen, had been buried with him. Are we... Are we grave digging to start today? Oh, good. Goody. <laughs> Here we go. To try the Yurden enchantment from the room, right? Okay, I'll have to go back there instead of the one I got. What? Okay. I see. Is that Geralt? Geralt of Vivia? What? Sir! Come to me, please! Approach! Approach? What? What? My eyes were not deceived. Yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm hmm. Yes. Me, south in all my fame. <laughs> oh, I've heard so much. Why, when Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclair, okay. not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your teats. <laughs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But, what can I do for you? Ah, you see, my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Gratore. Mm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. <laughs> a love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But does alas, it? Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? What's the deal? This Grotore. Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters, 
reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal, long prehensile arms. Intelligent. A lot of monsters out here too. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap, but he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? Hmm. I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Okay, what are we? What are we talking? Rarely my want to turn down a damsel in distress, even less so when there's a, a <clears throat> prize involved. A prize involved. Ah, naturally. Why, you, sir, are no knight errant, but a guildsman, an expert. An expert, yes. How much would you need? That is, that is me. An expert. Okay, okay, we're starting at 300. That's, that's our, you know? Uh, just, just give me like a, a 325 yes. and I'll be happy. That's Sounds amount great. I am prepared to I pay. could have asked for more, I'm sure, but, you know. I mean, I'm not sure, but I'm happy enough. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just, uh... Yeah, where am Mind I going? telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Gortore has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. Back close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have. But none's like, returned. No, they go. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. People are we gonna go find? Like, okay, good. <sighs> okay, so let's take a look. That's not where we're going yet. That's a that's a higher level thing. I I did not want to activate that one yet. We will do that at some point. But first, we were we were we were busy. Here we go. Back on track. Oh, goody. Are we... Yeah, no, we're gonna go... Are we, like, grave robbing right now? Like, what is... Mistranslation, misunderstanding, misfortune. Okay. Talked himself to death. Mm-hmm. Professor. Inscriptions in elder speech. Oh, someone else has been Salvation here. Salvation lies not in Dolnevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Eldarin. Damn. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Footprints. Narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. Hmm. Damn it. Trail breaks off. Wonder if the Grave Robber learned more than I did. Okay. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Hmm. Won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. So, All right. I have mentioned both Ellerin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Hmm. Barely knew each other, and their love was all the deeper for it. we have done out of blood and wine is the initial like intro where we met <coughs> the lady and she was like here you will help me is this loot the treasure hidden in the cemetery oh let's see a pretty area. Oh, yeah, see, the cat does not like Geralt. That was the first thing that was weird about that cat in the last expansion. Hearts of Stone. And then turns out it wasn't a real cat. Which makes sense, because it didn't hate Geralt. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to find some treasure. Hang on. What am I... 
What am I looking for? I know you buried Selena at the Bokhire Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Remember, we deserve a cut of that too. We all know you were her lover, but remember she was the leader of our gang. That's what really counts. So it looks like we are looking for Selena's grave. Oh, I'm lighting candles. Am I extinguishing them? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, okay. I was like, why we almost froze. But we didn't. Good job, PC. Uh what is down here? Huh. feel as if I probably shouldn't be here, but let's see, are there monsters? Uh, grave robbers. Hey, these are my graves to rob. Right. Okay, yeah, that's the shovel. Okay, so that's the shovel. Can I equip a different one mid-fight? I don't know if I can. Let's find out. Yes, I can. Let me see. Let me try this thing. Okay, interesting. Grave robbers usually try hmm. to keep quiet, but it seems pretty good. To look around. Figure out how to use that more effectively. Hello, cat. Let's see, try to cheat us again, won't get away with it this time. Take the jewels and everything. Hmm. Ever since Selena's death, the kids been moping near Orlimer's cemetery, howling at the moon. Hmm. stuff. Time to get out of here. So bored. Went. Overheard the ambassador give instructions to his secretary. Hmm. The send a transport carrying wine bought for the Imperial Court along with some unused operational wherewithal. Greybeer. Greybill Pellegrin slaughtered the caravan's guards, snatched all its cargo. Had the gall to deliver a pouch of coin to me at the embassy, said it was my share. I spit on his coin, but I'm afraid I'll need it soon enough. Hid what he gave me in the safe place. What all is over here? Does this place just keep going? One eternity later. Then I go... Oh, jeez. Where? No, I shouldn't actually loot. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I didn't take it. I didn't take it. Oh my god. No, Geralt, go outside. Do not. Okay, thank you. Oh my. Okay. Back to the greenery. Yep, Tomb Raider of Rivia. Mm-hmm. Hang on, no, is it? No, it's not a contract, it's a quest. Check the location on the map that Yennefer sent you, okay. Where is that? Is that a map? Map. Looks good. Geralt, can you read that? Hmm, sight marked on the map's all wet now. Son Retour flows through there. Must Ooh. be where the mountain was laying. Need to explore the location. Ah, the serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. What? Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? It's got like Snow White New colors. New contract? Oh, 
of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past, on your last sojourn in Beauclair. Mm -hmm. I was in a bit of a bind at the time. Do you remember? Oh. Yet I swore a solemn oh. vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Yeah. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed oh, it I totally in an forgot account about that. for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings Do we have account money? at Chanfanelli oh. Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Really? Thanks. Are you sure? Head over there first chance I get. Gotta stop by that bank. Yeah, I'm gonna go immediately. Hang on. Did we just get money or? Let me see. Sounds neat. This is pretty. Need to come back during the day. What do you mean during the day? I mean, that's fair. I wouldn't be probably awake at that time either. So. <laughs> no safer place than a bank. Hello there. Welcome to Gianfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own. And the customer's always right. How might I be of service? I'd like to change some coin. By all means. Hey. Can I help you? Got an account here. Like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. Hmm. A cat? I'm afraid I can't help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records. The account holder is dead. I knew it. That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit 838. For more information, please go to window number one. All right. Oh, Where goody. Window number Here one? we go. No safer mm -hmm. place than a bank. Permit 838. All in order. Hello. Catch mm. 22. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc. 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 Et How yes. can I help you, mm -hmm. sir? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be good. Need a copy? I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. What do you mean, wrong window? I was told I'd get permit A38 here. Please remain calm, sir, or your rapture of aim. <laughs> so just tell me where I get this stupid document. <laughs> Perhaps upstairs, in records, or downstairs in the archive. You must ask them, sir. Thanks, helpful. Do just that. What can I do for you? Always. <clears throat> right. This way? Yes. Can I help you? This way. Sorry, gotta get through. Hold oh, there. What is this? Welcome to Tranfanelli Bank. Hi there. Where we Can look you after help? your coin as if it were our own. And the customer is always right. How might I help you? This where I get permit A38? Naturally. Just hand me your form 202, please. What? Form 202. All right. Just Where do I get nice. that document? Allow me to explain. Oh, thanks. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of Form 202. Okay. As stated specifically in Ordinance N60. Mm -hmm. Please go to window number one. 
<sighs> Just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. Sir, jumping the queue! How dare you! Oh, is he mad? You cut in front of me, sir! Fight me. Bold. Ooh. Which one? I... I think Geralt's had enough today. What are you gonna do about it, hmm? Well, couldn't really give a crap. You boar! You churl! Mm -hmm. I will not stand for this! Just you wait, I'll teach you some manners! Oh. Go on, hit me. Their faces. Oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Their faces. Outside, now! <laughs> oh, we going outside? We taking this outside, okay. They're like, dang it, you don't get to see it. Here we go. I'm ready. It's the third time this week. I wager ten on the one on the right. Too late to surrender. Bam. Get him. Get him. Poor simpleton. Prepare to be humbled. Prepare for us to be humbled. You, who started a fist fight with the Witcher. I shall teach. I mean, you know, the fact that he didn't just get knocked out immediately, good for him. I was the one that resorted to it, yeah. To be uh, cut the line, sir. I did cut the line. Cut the line sir. And I would do it again. <laughs> anyway. Oh, where is she? Where she go? Air bomb made. Follow the scent. Could be the lead I need. Times are tough, coins tight, and to make matters worse, there are thieves ready to pounce on even a moment of inattention. Lucky, the bank has a solution for you. Put your trust in one of our safe deposit boxes, which are secured not only against normal break-in methods, but also against magic and telepathy. I mean, fair enough. I truly yes. want her. Can I help you? So you see. She claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Puffed Excuse sleeves? Me. Got something I gotta take care of at window you one. Cannot be serious. That's what I, I said. Too find it hard to believe. Excuse me. Can you not see what it says there? We're on our break. Celine, darling, sign this for mm. me, will you? Oh, there you are. Listen, there's something We're on I. on break. Lunchtime, Geralt. Ah, you try to be Off polite, the clock. just never gets through. <laughs> never gets through. Got no choice, I guess. Sit and wait, wait, until, wait until the, the break ends. Break. <laughs> yes? Geralt, I, I was at home the other day. <laughs> okay, girl, this is good. What is... Do -do -do. Do, do, do. You must wait. They have the break now. Yep. Here we are. Waiting. So, what do you hope to get here, my friend? What do you mean? Who are you? I'm at A38. Oh, guess I need Form 202 as well now. Form 202? Easy peasy. Oh. Certificate P. Now, that is a challenge. Oh, that's the tougher one. Hmm. Makes sense. But, as we are both forced to wait, fancy a round of... Fun. All right, all right. He at least has good ideas. I don't even care what the other option was. I think it was... Why not? I don't know. Let's lay him out. It's probably something else now, to do, but that I don't care. I understand. I'll start arranging my deck. <sighs> the music is wonderful. Oh, Dandelion was who I was going to swap out. Oh, you remember. Thank you, RB. Um, I'll have to do that afterwards. Speaking of which, okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and immediately swap him on out. 
All right, we got a decoy, we've got two spies, we've got a medic, we've got two of them together, which is good. Um, we have two hero cards, but honestly, that's not a bad thing. Especially considering we don't have any, like, horns or anything like that. Um, let me swap this one out and just see what we get. But honestly, it doesn't really matter that much because we're getting spies already. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I believe. Kind of decent to start with. So, not the new Skellige deck. We got another decoy. Not a bad thing. Alright, this spy is gonna give me another spy. Ready? Thank you. There it is. One more? Is that too lucky? Let's see. Not too lucky. Hey. <laughs> Just keep getting all of the cards. Think we have enough cards? I don't. <laughs> oh, that six is messing up my perfect scorch opportunity. Oh, if it was only all of those fives, I would so use that. He's messing me up. Okay, anyways. Uh... What is that? Plus one to all units. Cool. So he can go in either one of those rows. That's kind of cool. Um, so I gotta decide if I'm playing any more cards or if I'm just letting him have this first round. Doesn't really honestly matter either way. Um, I think we've got this win no matter what we do, but... Decoy? I can't decoy this one. It's a hero card. So, I think that's it? Here? Right? I think I just... Well... Wait, why do we have... Yeah. Okay. So, we have 15 cards, but no points. So, I think I just keep it that way. And they just passed right there. That's huge. So here we go. Keeping an eye out for a Scorch opportunity. I mean, I'll take that. Interesting, they pass there. Okay. Sure. I'll take this round. Um, we just need to put down a... No, a six would tie it, so we need to put down... An eight? But those add together nicely, so honestly, I'm just gonna throw down one of these cards. It doesn't really matter. Bam. Use the medic to bring back that other card if I want. We have 15 cards going into round three. Think it's enough? Oof. 
fine. Just keep using spies. Also, rude. Stop it. Stop it. I had a crazy card advantage. Stop that. See, do I have anything? So I can't bring that one back. No, the only card I can even medic back is this one. So let's just do that. Sure, here we go. keep an eye out for an opportunity to use Scorch, but even if we don't have an opportunity, it doesn't really matter. Um, Still no Scorch. We'll get there. So, like, I don't really want to use... Let's see. I'm going to use... This. Well, no, because I can try to Scorch first. But I don't really have, like, an opportunity. No, so I'm just going to use it. Because I have clear weather also. Now they're starting to put down sixes because now I can't scorch it. Well, I mean, I could, but it's not worth it. If they had more, it might be. So. Uh, there's not really a way I can do that effectively. It doesn't matter. Start going for it. So a bit worried about what cards they have. So here's where I could consider doing something drastic and zapping their cards as well as mine because they would lose twice as many, right? I think this is where we consider the drastic action. And we just accept the loss of my cards. Yes. But that's why I started with the horn on that row and not on this one. Ooh, Biting Frost, uh-oh.
As your prize, I shall reveal to you my foolproof method for cutting through this bureaucracy. So quiet without the <laughs> Nothing music. ever comes of using the normal channels. Oh. I have seen them try everything. Do Magic, the way hypnosis, once? bribery, nothing works. Okay, but... Might as well go if nothing works. There's nothing I can do. Be kind, be pleasant. This and only this. The woman here, she sits at her window 12 hours each day without hearing so much as a good day from anyone. He's like, just be very nice to them. It's crazy. Yeah, so I started to take the nice approach flowers. up there. Some perfume. Oh, well, flowers. You will resolve your matter lickety split. Right. Certainly worth a shot. Good luck. What's he still doing there? So, can I get some flowers? Can I go get something? Hmm, we'll see. What do we have? I think I have some flowers on us. Welcome to Chanfanili Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? Uh, well... Wait, can I do something else first? I feel like, yeah, hang on, hang Come on. Come back late. As you Where do I get flat? Like, do I, I, I should have some flowers, but probably want some fresh flowers. Can I, can I like steal some? Do I leave? Truthfully, only a witch. Uh. Has to best the beast. Let's see. Welcome to. Need form two o two to get a copy of permit a thirty eight. Oh, Do you no, know that? Geralt, no. Couldn't have told me. Wasted Geralt, a lot of time. Geralt, stop! Of you. That's the wrong Please, approach. Sir. There's no need to lose your temper. I thought it obvious and thus Carol. no stating. I, the form will soon be uh, ready. Name and surname? Uh, Geralt of Rivia. Let me find it. Get on, Gemel. Here it is. Geralt of Rivia. Sorry, sir, I cannot issue form 202. Yeah, that makes sense. Excuse me? The applicant in question has been declared dead. Officially. Now, do tell me, sir. How am I to enter that into the ledger? Give flowers, give perfume. Uh, here's some flowers. Got you some flowers, just to thank you for helping me with my file. Girl, okay, let's try oh, a different but approach. I, I shouldn't. To me? Really? Match the color of your eyes. Oh, you, sir, are quite the charmer. Ah, please, wait a moment. I shall fetch Master Cinfanelli. No. Perhaps he'll arrange <laughs> something that excludes the paperwork. Why, thank you. Girl, I think learned his lesson. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. Disturb, but no, always some bugger who can stand to wait. Hello, me, who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. Been a bit busy, but I'm back now <laughs> and I need your help with something. Been a bit busy. Now do tell, how can I help you? See, there's a, a wee problem. Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins, see, but... Nay, problem there. We'll get you paid up in a jiffy. I'm just gonna need to settle yon tiny wee trifle. Heard that already. Permit A38, among others. Oh, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the mm -hmm. ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. 
Can I get him flowers or something? That's what I'm saying. I'm Looking like, up. okay, hang on. We're can here I... to serve. Can I like? Collins. Welcome oh, to Chan. Got to be something. <clears throat> right. Got to be something to do. Yes. Can I help you? Got to be something. Oh, come on. Our friends won't let me look back in. Hmm. Hmm. Master. So. What's the deal? Hmm? Chen Finelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin now. Come on, Master Witcher, for why the IR? There's no need. We'll have it all for you. You just need to see the necessary documents. Got a document right here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. <sighs> Her enlightened highness. Yes. She's hired you. Indeed. Mm-hmm. And as her personal emissary, Ooh. I demand access to my account right now. Oh, uh, uh, I he's Master got the Witcher. scroll. This way. Okay, all right. Geralt knows so what he's doing. The Never trade mind. These days, Master Witcher. Can't complain. Good for you, because in our neck of the woods, things are dark, dark shit. Wine sales are stuck in the muck and sinking deeper. It's the fucking wretched names, I tell you. Folk out with the duchy have me any notion how to say quote the blessure and all that. Yes. It twists their tongues yes. in bloody knots. Oh, Makes them ashamed to ask for it. <laughs> Done. Deposit box 256. Last you on the right. Okay. What the hell's this, Chen Finelli? Uh... Box is empty. Well, uh, coins got to circulate. Yeah. So when we learned you so were where the headmaster, we uh, circulated you yours. You can circulate it back. Purchased stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was he haw left. So in you're the saying box. I own some vineyards? You really ought to call it what it oh. is. Oh. You robbed me, plain and simple. Nay, Master Witcher, never. I wouldn't dare. Oh, you'd dare. And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back. Every oh, yes, red you will. On. I swear it on my Nana's beard. A week. Got a week, not one day more. You shan't regret this, I swear. I'll rustle it up. Have it ready for What a genius seven plan. Days. Mm -hmm. See you then. Genius plan there. Yes. Well. Fine. Go do something else. Or something like okay, let me let me go look over here. What do we have? Yeah, meditate for seven days. Okay, I would actually like to go see our house though. Yes, let's let's go do that. Years pass and times change, yet all that is good and beautiful still requires a defender. Hey, tough guy. Smack down your brother-in-law, now you're feeling invincible. Neighbors step aside when they see you coming. Got violence in your heart? And perhaps it's high time you fought for the title of Brawlmaster of Beauclair. Hmm. Good weapon skills. Okay. Exploratory purposes. Diagrams. A statue. The infernal racket coming from the cemetery is driving us mad. Oxala V. Might be worth looking into. Hmm. I imagine you've been on a Someone's an escort. Not something I do often, but might be worth investigating. You also meditated for seven days, mad about your money, and prepared to draw blood. That's that's fair. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Um, let's go to our house. I want to go. Oh. I haven't seen it yet. We 
we have a whole vineyard? Let's see our home. We'll come back soon. <clears throat> Goodness, my voice today. Not optimal. Let's take a look. Okay, first things first. The view. I love it. Gorgeous. A witcher. The inn we could use one around so here. So Full the other day. He tried to stick an egg back up a hen's hide. Leave the hen it alone. Be. It cannot be. <laughs> the white wolf himself. So our house, yeah, it's just up here. Oh, there's a whole little town here. That's cool. Welcome home, sir. Oh. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. Hello, I Barnabas. The Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Pienco. Major Domo. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary, demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip like, the house into this. order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Tell me more. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Noted. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Common cut Went purse, Went about huh? his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced uneven. Should he have? Never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the Great other hand, chopping. was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. Fair enough. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Show me around, the Grand Tour. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. You're a major domo. I mean, it's very beautiful. Life. Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my well, grandfather before doing. him. As this was is my so great pretty. aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt. A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She hmm. dragged the rest of the family up the same path. Hmm. If they would just take to work as they take to dance and drink. How pretty. The servants' quarters. 
I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain Absolutely. to know where the help stays. I mean, it's quite a... quite a whole place. It's very impressive. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. How pretty. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. Then give my wife a good long night. If a horse drops it, you ride it at a concert. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest, aged in oak barrels. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Sounds lovely. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. Keeper's boy got so sauced the other day, he tried to stick an egg back up a hen's hide. You already said that Cannot story. Be. Nice, well. Picturesque. Picturesque. Yes. Imagining that. Dry, yeah. Long Thank ago. you. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius born for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdom of Lebioda. Hmm. Peacock. I love it. This is so pretty. I was saying I wanted like a house or like a base or something. I'm excited Monsieur to see like the house Bolius, itself. His wife Nina kept a garden here. <gasps> Can a I have a garden? Extremely lovely place. Give it me was. a garden. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory, and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetables. Oh yes, please. Can I? Can I guard? I'm ready. Let me. Okay, not yet. It's a whole estate vineyard, yes. Oh. Madame Nina planted well, diminutive, I delicate mean, flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, flowers. Barnabas Basil. Barnabas Basil, let's continue our tour. You have to pay for that. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get there. <laughs> Warm cow pizza tastes better than coronata wine. It's good. Well, this is impressive and very nice that we just got the this. Is small, but do you know any who's not heard of our wines? This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Oh, Roach. This place will look quite lovely I soon. The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, work. wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. Mm. I took the liberty of cleaning up the fresh olive oil, yum. Mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Wondering if that was that same place. Yes, it is. <laughs> As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Yes. Too 
the house? Let's see. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to decorate! With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has I was saying I wanted something if, like this. I'm so happy. Forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. I think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Oh, so let's see. What do we have? Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. How much does this cost? Almost decidedly, okay, sir. So Question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. House or the grounds? I don't know. Let's let's talk about the house first. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? Okay. I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. What are we talking? Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons. Of which he was a passionate collector. Oh my gosh, I literally said that earlier. I want a place to display all my stuff. Oh my gosh. Do I have 5,000? I think I might barely have that. Um. Yeah, I've specifically stated earlier in the game that I specifically wanted exactly this. So I'm going to pay for it. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Yeah, Highly need skilled the contract the negotiations. shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Oh my. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? How much does this cost? Got these spacious grounds. Mm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh, useful. Oh, yes! We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. Mm -hmm. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Again, how much? My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorous tables this side of the Yerugan. I will contact him at once. Okay, it might, might be better to, better to wait, but mm. soon. Know what? Ponder That's not... the notion however long you wish, sir. I am at your disposal. Not perhaps. unreasonable, though, so that won't take long. Okay, cool. Let's put a pin in this for now. Remember to have some urgent business to tend to. Not the slightest problem. Let's go do some sir. contracts and things. Get some money. Whenever you desire. Let's finish our, our grand tour. Armor stand. Oh my gosh, we can already do that. That's so fun. Oh, it's so fun. I love it. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Can I sleep? How does this work? Can I actually go to bed? <laughs> There's like icons here, so hang on. This is the guest room. Okay, okay. I'm like, which is where? Here. Oh, and there's a weapon rack. Trophy. Oh, I wonder what those are gonna be. That's gonna be something cool. 
And then access to our stash, wonderfully right here. I love that a lot. I'm gonna put that one away for now. And... Yeah, this was our Viper Silver Sword, and that was the steel. So, we don't... I don't know. I'll hold on to those for the moment. What are these? Don't really need those either. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So can you actually like go to sleep? You are waiting for your bed to be replaced. You cannot use it now. Okay, that is the answer to that. And our whole bookshelf, experience gain bonus applied. What does that mean? I think these are all of our things that we've already read. Yeah, these are our existing things. So we can look through all the all the books that we've had. Oh my gosh. Hang painting? Oh. I do have some paintings. Wait, oh. Oh, so I can choose which one. Yes, Iris and Oldbeard. Oh. Back when they were happy. Let's see. What's what's the other one? I mean, it's cute. Though they didn't end up very cute. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That's great to have in your bedroom. <laughs> right by your bed. Make you feel warm and fuzzy. <laughs> um, okay. What a cool place. I can't wait to see it after uh, some other things. After we get some paintings and stuff. Oh my gosh. I love it. Wow! Let's do a bit of meditation. Hey, Fuzz, welcome back. How's it going? How was your evening? Or, all right, I'm assuming evening. It's evening here. There's a merchant that sells paintings in the city. Oh, how fun! I mean, I should, don't tell me that actually. Or I'm gonna go buy a bunch of paintings. You guys are already telling me to save my money. <laughs> um, let's actually meditate like a whole day. Since we have a couple days to wait. Anyways. Look at them. Hard at work here. I will give them some space. Alright, so that is our home. How fun! So we... <laughs> you guys, I feel like we've, like, done so much already. And we were just, like, barely set up for the beginning of this whole thing. Like, just barely. It's kind of funny. Um, I feel like I should like start running around or something from here. Let me see. Witcher contracts do we have? Yeah, we have a couple Witcher contracts for here. That's level 37 and we still have a level 35 and level 36 here. So we should probably keep going with some of these and we'll give this guy a week. Tried to like lock me in the vault. My goodness, my goodness. Um, search for the entrance of, to the professor's laboratory. So this is what I was still doing, right? I forgot that I hadn't done this. Oh my god, I forgot that we like went on a whole tangent of another quest. I forgot that I didn't even do this. Gosh dang it, okay. Search for the entrance to the professor's laboratory in the flooded ruins of the Valley of the Nine. I mean... And most unusual discovery. So, Witcher mutations. I guess... Yeah, we keep going on this one. Hang on. I forgot that that was like our whole part. <laughs> there is so much to do. It's kind of crazy. Alright, our thing is over there so that we can travel. And then we need to go search for the entrance to the professor's laboratory. Okay. Let's go this way. I'd rather be an evil than a quail. Let's go! 
Okay, so let's finish. Hang on. Oh, wait, no, I don't need actually. Hang on, I don't need roach right now. I need this. Fancy sign. And we need to be over here. So let's start. Can I like start at the boat? No. So I think that we should start here and head up that way. I think that's going to be our simplest way to do this. This DLC also has hidden quests you don't find if you don't visit the area. That's what it seems like. So it seems like you kind of got to do some exploring as you go. Roach, there we go. go Quite a trophy go. we've got with Roach here. <laughs> Faster. Find. Okay, so. Should I go do this right now? Or is there something I should po possibly do first? Like, it looks like I should just go do this, right? Like, it looks like I should just go finish this. And then we'll take, like, a quick five and then pick a different quest, right? Like, let's, let's check it out. Okay, okay, oh my. If they would just take to work, is they take to dancing? New marker. This is a cool area. Very different, like, architecture and design style. Let's go. Another manor. Okay. Run, Charles. Excuse me, I'm a group. And then... Come on. Oh, come on, Roach. Roach, really? I wasn't even that close to that. So I want to go take a look at the little town over here. I think we got something here. Let's go! Hop off real fast. Hey, it's go. Grab some of those things. Why does it keep showing Portrait of Iris and Olgeard? That is super bugged. That's fine. Looks like a side quest. I told her there might be treasure. There might not be. Monsters, though. they be for certain. Best not venture close. Is that not a side quest? You can't good make day, do good the day. My regards. Excuse me? All is okay, there is a travel point there. Wanted to make sure I got that. And now we go up this way. Stream good, good here. Okay, well, I was trying to cast R, but I guess I'm just gonna die to wolves. I guess I'm just gonna die to wolves. Okay, you know what? Maybe I do need a five. <laughs> okay, we've got this. Give me a second. I need a snack. I'm hungry. That's what I blame it on. Give me just a second. <laughs> Come back. We'll keep going. And, uh... See what Yennefer has pointed us in the uh, in the direction of. So, let's go.